coming up, Don just brought this over. Another part off the shaper that was broken. Then I've sent him back to his shop to look at that because I was looking at protecting this bushing when the uh, by making it parked through inside and one to outside, then I noticed that right around here is all rough. So I think something else has broken off in that hole. And if it has, probably be simple just to make a new bushing that's that outer diameter to fit in there. This just holds the, the crank for adjusting the table left to right. Not the automatic one, but just the, the, the manual one. The joys of old machines. I left the gate open again and the door and he snuck in on me. Come on, sir, If you notice, Don's got long hair. No, I don't. <sighs> If you notice, Don's getting senile and argumentative. I'm just happy to have hair at 70. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I got it down here. Gravity is slowly moving my hair from the top to the bottom. Uh, anyway, Don showed back up. In the video you saw before, you can see this one. I started welding out this cast iron table brace for a 20 inch Cincinnati shaper. shaper. You know what year it is? I hadn't checked the serial number yet. I just found the serial number. Once I cleaned it, I, I saw the serial number. It was very dirty. It was dirty. <laughs> this was covered in grease. Somebody has, it's been broken. And a silicone bronze welded all that and it broke above that. So we're trying the easy TIG welding they're either broke or the whole thing's crooked. Yeah. So when they welded it, I don't know if you could tell it's at an angle like this. So the table is here, so you're always putting pressure this way. So it's, it's like a lever always trying to go into the table. This needs to be straight. Well, we're going to weld it up, then we're going to put it on my planer and Plane the bottom straight, yeah. make this 90 degrees to the bottom. Yeah, I think that'll do a lot. And then it shouldn't be a problem. But Don informs me he doesn't need this piece just yet. But he does need this piece repaired. Now, this hangs out the side of the machine. The machine's here, right? That right through there, yeah. And this shaft goes through. This has been all the pieces. Yeah, it's, I've already worked on it for like two hours just to get it to that point. Pressing it to get it straight. And there's another carrier over here yeah. and a pinion gear. There's a, there's a bevel gear that goes here gear. against another bevel gear. And that goes to the lead screw that raises the main table up and down. Yeah. Manually. Manually. Yeah. It also has a power, power feed, feed, but yeah. that's the manual feed. Anyway. He's pressed this out and got it to where it's pretty close it's on the surface plot table. But he said this all is held in place by one screw and this is broken off. It was broke because uh, this was so twisted and bent that when somebody tried to turn it, it made this wobble and it cracked right there. Well, it also, it also cracked, cracked right, right here. He showed up and I was looking at it and going, that doesn't look right, right in here. I don't know if y'all can see. But right around this edge is all fractured cast iron. And I said, I think there's more to it, Don. It was. So he drove back to his place and he got us this little piece that was stuck inside the bore. So this thing basically has this going over this piece of bronze 
or brass, I guess it's bronze. And that's the bearing for it. And then this piece of cast iron locates into the machine and then they secure it with this. Yep. Well, that little eighth inch piece of cast iron is just cracked right off. This I can fix. I could weld this, but I don't have any. I think it would break again just because of the design. Yeah, it's poor design. So what we've decided to do is I'm going to take this bushing out of here and I'm going to make a new one. And I'm going to make, this is two inches long. It'll fit an inch inside this casting and then up into this piece that's broken off, it goes up an inch. What I'm going to do is just make a stepped bushing and increase the diameter up here to where it takes the place of this. Then to help even more, we're going to pin this to the machine. And we've been sitting here arguing with each other about the best way. But we've come to a consensus. This little slot right here would allow you to get a long drill in. And so what he's going to do is drill through here with a, to make a, an undersized hole and then attach this to the machine and they get a long aircraft type drill and drill it through there into the parent metal of the machine and then ream the whole thing and then insert a pin into it. That way it'll all be lined up. Yeah, because that one little screw is a weak point. Yeah, and then it'll have a pin to pivot against the bearing and... It'll keep it locked in there. I don't think you mess it up. Mm -hmm. So, what we're going to do first thing today is make a new bushing, right? Yep. Figured that was a good candidate for Bob. Bob's going to work. Bob to the rescue. Now, I don't have any bearing bronze. I don't think it matters because, like I said, it's just a hand crank. You know, it's not like it's going around 50 miles an hour. And this machine is now at a retirement home. Yeah. And so what I've got laying around is what we're going to use. It works. And then if it wears out on you, yeah, I doubt if I'm going to live long if, enough if you, to wear it out. But. Well, if you, you, you know, get drunk and out there every night going round and round and round, back, back, back. Yeah, yeah, that's you what know, I dream I've of. Seen I you dream, I'm dreaming turning knobs all the hours, yeah. 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 That's what I do. Well, if you do that, you can make a new one of these. Okay? There you go. That's great. So we're going to turn every surface of it so it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect. Get this old board out of the way. So basically what we're going to make here is a new bushing. It's going to be two inches. there to there. This dimension is going to be the same as this exterior dimension. One, three, seven, three. And we're going to have an interior bore. going to be the four sides of the shaft. One, eight, seven, five. And 
this will be one inch and we only need this dimension right here One point one two seven. So that's what we're going to make. It's pretty easy. All right, Don. All right. I don't have all the tools I wish I had for this thing. But I need a cutoff tool. And I'd love to find the tool that goes from the bed up to here so you can set your tool points on. They've been pretty expensive. So, that's probably not going to happen for a while. Alexa, 229 minus 127. 229 minus 127 is 102. Very good, Alexa. So we're going to take another 90 off. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. <coughs> Oh, 
screw up. That is 138. We need 11 more to go after this. So we're on the right track, Don. On the right track. One, one, two, seven. I like it. All right, what I don't like is this. Huh? I need to put a tiny radius in there. So it doesn't So start. we don't have a stress right here. Thirty-five years for the lathe that everything was here. No, I still I reach for that. Down, yeah. Of course, it might take you years to find that one place, but when you do, you won't forget your old buddy Steve now, will you? No, no, no. Who? Steve? Never heard of him. To, to cut it off. Running 
right on that line. I think that'll work better in the long run. That rounded edge won't stop it from going all the way flat. Well, it will. Well, this is gonna be. This is gonna be. So flat. we got to clean that edge up anyway. Yeah, yeah. And what we need to do is relieve the inside so it'll accept that. Okay, just that's, that's what I thought. So we can get it out. You just hold it. I'll tap it. You catch it. You'll catch it. Careful what you're playing with down there. Sleek. I gotta weld that for a time, put this in there. I am. Sir. Uh, where's that brake cleaner? It's Hand pretty me. close. It's pretty close. Yeah, it's real close. And some paper towels or a rag or something. Mm -hmm. This is uh, non chlorinated, so when you weld with it, it won't kill you. I want you trying to substitute it on me <laughs> behind my back. Yeah, I, I, I swatched, I swapped the uh, can. I, uh, you did? Paint, I you painted, marked it out and painted, redid it? Painted this in green instead you of wrote red. wrote that on there, huh? Instead of red, yeah. I've got enough tools to worry about without worrying about yours, too. Clean up your oil again, sir. Yeah, and that thing is the Exxon Valve B, the gift that keeps giving. You know how those guys are in Arkansas. They love to pull things up. Yeah, that don't fit. It's already going in there a little bit already. Yeah. Should press in. That'll press in just right. Stay in there. Sounds good. And the dog, you get what you pay for. That's true. All right.
چیز رو گیم هر داری کنم It's pretty close Pretty close Pretty, pretty close bigger welding table or a littler me, Don. Hmm. Uh, would you get my helmet out of there, please? Yeah. And the cabinet on the right. Well, I got to put on my air helmet. Space helmet. It really gas. It hooks right in your. Yeah, it does. This is it. It sucks the gas right up. You can do it like this. As you get older, you use this thing when you're taking a leak, it goes farther away from you. You gotta look into this. I can still hit the wall, I don't know about you. You can sit the wall. You wanna hit your feet, guys? Not me. Not me at all. All right. Now you want it on again? Yes, sir. Turn it on. Contact, contact, contact. I like these gloves because a big handed guy can still get into them easy. Hey, I want 20. Thanks, sir. Yes. I don't need these glasses.
go keep playing the horse, please. All right. Go. Oh. You're on top of your tungsten. Oh, my. You mean your, your easy way, pig will. Easy way. Can't hear you, man. Why <laughs> would right here? Oh yeah. Would you look in the cabinets over there and there should be a pair of pliers for MIG pliers. Cut that in half. You guys in your camera. No, this is not a mold. You cut it in half, in half there.
This helmet is nice. You don't fog up? I don't fog up. And right now it's very cool. So life is good. Would you put that over there? Thank you. Life is good. If you don't crack, I'll be happier. It's starting to fill in pretty good. I mean, I'm able to flare it out and just move the puddle around mm -hmm. and just kind of cast metal without having to have a cast. mold. Mm -hmm. Did I say mold? I'm in mold. <laughs> Don't have any molds. No mold. I get it off there. You getting that off of there, you're going to be in trouble. My God, my wife would come after you. You wouldn't know what to do. color of sparks don't change when you hit the easy tag. The easy tag rod is the same color of sparks as the cast iron. Well, what I can tell you is the easy tag when you're grinding it is harder. harder. But the color of sparks don't change. I thought they would. I imagine there's a lot of the... I hit my damn... I hit my mole again. <coughs> That's no what happens. In another three months. Another three months. Uh, that's what's happened all the time. Yeah. Oh, what you have to put that over there. You done with it? You want to put a cabinet? I'm done with it today. I'm I'm wore out. Getting stronger. In fact, I'm stronger now than I was before my heart decided to kill me. I'll look a little closer up. It's still rough. I mean, it needs milled. Face off this side here. Redrill the hole. And redrill the hole and counterbore it. But I rebuilt it all back up. I really like that easy tape. Now you know what to get me for Christmas. You got one in the mail coming, all right? For me? Yeah. For Christmas? Oh, you're so just kind. Just because, just because. I wouldn't touch that if I were you. I just want to see how it was. It's a little warm. Not too bad on the sun. Well. I'm leaking. Probably. Yep, yep. I hit it with things. My glasses, my welding hoods. Did you just put bandit over it? I do that and then the scab falls off and then it doesn't heal. Hmm. I'm gonna tell you. If those damn Martians hadn't abducted me, this wouldn't be Good happening. Good doctor, tell cut it and sew the, sew the two pieces of skin back together. You just want me to look like Frankenstein. Hey, at least it won't be there no more. There wasn't any skin, that's the problem. Yeah, that's what I mean, you need to. I mean, it was this big around that I skinned off. Yeah, damn. And so it is getting much better. 
skin's having a hard time growing over. But it's thicker than it was before. Do what? It should be stronger. It's thicker than it was before. I don't know if we talked about it, but I call this, it's not so much TIG welding, it's metal sculpturing with it, metal molding. It shows you what you can do with it though. You can get that that hot and it stays without cracking. That's the winner. And just rebuild the area with it. That's all I'm doing is I'm rebuilding stuff. I'm cutting junk out of there. And down to yeah. bare base metal and then rebuilding it. No. Yeah. I just like this method better because it's it, it, you can shape it and it doesn't look it looks no more natural. Shaping it up? Yeah. You're gonna put it on a bore a mill and mill this face flat. Yep. And then, and then counter bore that, that and redrill the hole there. Yep. And we have This new piece will fit in there and stick out to take the place of this and this. So that ought to be That'll just work. as yep. strong. Yep. And then if this brass, which I don't know, mystery brass, whatever it is, if it's not strong enough and wobbles out too much, you know, see there is the same fit. Mm -hmm. Think you'll be okay? Yeah, I think so. Not better than it was. You can go home and paint this. Oh, yeah. I thought I did it. This all I, didn't think, I didn't think it'd take that long to do that one little piece. No, but well, it wasn't just the little pieces. It, it was, was the piece that was rebuilding missing. Rebuilding it. It was the pieces that were missing. And cutting it all back down and then <coughs> rewelding the whole solid yeah. thing together. Yeah. I was filling up a gap that big. That's good practice for that. Practice for that. Yeah, I'll start That's a Grand that. Canyon there. That's Hope we good. have enough easy to <laughs> Got more coming. Got two more tubs coming. I think we got enough. Say good night, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. Okay. You realize about 95% of the people on YouTube won't well, know no, what that means. Well, no, that George yeah. Byrne thing. Yeah. George no, Byrne, no, look you, Now you, you ruined it. George Byrne, look it up. Yeah, can't take you anywhere.